So there's an exciting new product called Morpheus One. It's part of the next generation of AI technology. It's revolutionary and it has the potential to transform the AI industry. Let's take a look at the incredible capabilities it offers. I promise it's truly mind-blowing. You're probably aware of various discussions on how AI enables non-invasive mind reading and translates thoughts into text. This mind-reading AI not only decodes brain activity but can also recreate what your brain sees. This brings us to our main topic which focuses on something different called the Morpheus One. This groundbreaking project by Prophetic AI has been praised as the world's first multimodal general ultrasonic transformer. Its main purpose is to induce and stabilize lucid dreams. But before you dismiss lucid dreams as trivial, let me assure you this application has far-reaching implications beyond what you might initially think. First of all, what exactly is Morpheus One? Morpheus One is a device developed by Prophetic AI. It's a wearable technology designed to delve into the world of lucid dreaming. It is equipped with EEG sensors, ultrasonic transducers, and a neural chip. Morpheus One aims to induce and stabilize lucid dreams by mimicking the neural firing patterns associated with this dream state. The device is non-invasive and worn on the head like a VR headset, making it accessible to a wide audience. Users simply wear Morpheus One before bedtime and the EEG sensors monitor their REM sleep. Morpheus One operates on advanced technology triggered by specific brain states that generate ultrasonic holograms for neurostimulation. In simpler terms, it utilizes sound waves to stimulate the brain and induce lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is conscious of being in a dream and can potentially control its elements. Now, I know, I know, it's pretty shocking. This underlying model of Morpheus One is a 103 million parameter transformer trained on HB hardware for over two days. The primary goal is to deeply comprehend the human mind and consciousness, employing AI to gain control. For those unfamiliar, lucid dreams occur when a dreamer realizes they are dreaming while asleep. This awareness may come with the ability to influence the dream's characters, narrative and environment. It's crucial to note that the content of the dream is not the key aspect of lucid dreaming. The critical factor is the awareness of being in a dream state. When you're in a lucid dream, it's like being in control of a video game, a unique experience not everyone encounters. Despite being a phenomenon studied for years, neuroscientists still grapple with the mystery behind lucid dreaming. What they do know is that the frontal lobe of the brain activates during these dreams, potentially allowing dream control. Lucid dreams often unfold during REM, rapid eye movement sleep a deep sleep phase marked by eye motion, rapid breathing, and heightened brain activity. This REM phase kicks in around 90 minutes after falling asleep and persists for about an hour as the night unfolds. Anyway, recently, Eric Wahlberg, the CEO and co-founder of Prophetic, declared, of course, that the name Morpheus derives from the Greek tradition. Morpheus, the Greek god of dreams and shaper of dreams, inspired the name aligning with the company's mission to induce and stabilize lucid dreams through acoustic shapes. Moving on to the historical context, Eric explores the traditional use of transcranial focused ultrasound, TFUs, in neuroscience. TFUs, Prophetic's neurostimulation modality, surpasses other methods like electric or electromagnetic stimulation due to their non-invasive centimeter depth penetration, millimeter precision, and three-dimensional steering capabilities. In the past, neuroscience faced limitations under the statistical mechanics paradigm when dealing with the complexity of neural data. Traditional machine learning architectures struggle to handle intricate fMRI and EEG data. However, a breakthrough occurred about two years ago with the development of a neural transformer, a pivotal input to Prophetic's ultrasonic transformer. The promise of Morpheus One lies in its potential to revolutionize various applications beyond lucid dreaming. Eric hints at its adaptability, mentioning the company's broader focus on conscious experiences. Now, the goal is a transformer going beyond single-element transducers. It aims to use multi-element transducers, orchestrating neural activity like a symphony, rather than focusing only on one part. Transcranial-focused ultrasound is impressive. 
It operates in three dimensions, lining with neural firing patterns. It even ventures into acoustic holography, exemplified by the Prophetics logo depiction. This showcases the power of neuromodulation technology, now overcoming previous limitations in steering transducers with automated precision. To create this model, a special technique called simultaneous EEG in fMRI is used. This method is unique because it needs non-ferromagnetic EEG sensors, crucial for capturing data simultaneously with temporal correspondence. Now, EEG data measures brain activity, with gamma frequencies being particularly important as they indicate heightened activity during lucid dreaming. On the other side, fMRI data, which shows the brain's internal structure, is processed for clarity and significance. The generative ultrasonic transformer has two key components, an encoder block, trained on EEG data, which measures brain activity, and a decoder block, trained on fMRI data, which reveals the brain's internal structure. This model outputs spatial targets for neurostimulation. Neurostimulation involves replicating the neural firing pattern observed during lucid dreaming, inducing the desired brain state so, in simple terms, they're using brain data to train a model that can recreate the brain's activity, specifically during lucid dreaming, opening up possibilities for inducing different brain states. One remarkable thing about this is the headband autonomously operates while worn. It offers a seamless experience, according to Eric. A good demonstration of this? Wear the headband, go to sleep, and the model initiates with the prompt. Subsequently, it generates the next set of spatial instructions. The next token is derived from EEG data, emphasizing the activation of the prefrontal cortex, the neurocore pivotal in lucid dreaming. This focus on the prefrontal cortex region is crucial. Approaching the verge of transforming this vision into a tangible reality is the fully operational, technical prototype of Morpheus One, set to run this model in March. According to Eric, whether one is in the New York City area or anywhere globally, a type form will be attached to this thread inviting individuals to sign up as early beta users. Anyway, Morpheus 1, with its 100 million parameters, marks the beginning. The journey continues with ongoing data collection for Morpheus 2, 3, 4, and beyond, anticipating a significant growth in parameter count and accuracy. At this point, I think this is just the beginning of an exciting venture. The potential impact of technology like this extends beyond addiction treatment. It could be a game-changer for various applications. Currently, primary focus is on using the tech for lucid dreaming, which differs slightly from its broader goals. However, the essential point is that if this technology proves effective, it opens the door to diverse applications. Now, don't get me wrong, this tech isn't flawless. It's crucial to note that extensive research and development are ongoing. The project plans to advance through subsequent versions, the excitement lies in the accumulation of neuroimaging data, a promising start considering they just scratched the surface. The possibilities seem vast, considering the initial showcase of induced lucid dreams. The potential applications could extend far beyond, and this prospect is both mind-boggling and revolutionary. The emphasis isn't solely on lucid dreaming. It's about creating conscious experiences. This kind of leaves us wondering about the broader implications and possibilities that this technology might unlock. The journey is intriguing, and the destination promises to be nothing short of fascinating. But what do you think, folks? Do we really need this kind of technology? Drop a mind in the comments to let us know you watched the whole video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching, everyone. You all take care.